Can we lose all the okay. down, 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 down. Was I right? To me, it was the best TV production I ever saw. Because after all, this is live on air and uh, extremely ambitious. <laughs> you think through all the rehearsals, this can never work? And then on air, <laughs> it's a killer. It's fun to win, but then again, it's, you know, you, 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 uh, you have to deal with a lot of expenses, and that comes second after you're done with all the celebration. Big countries pay more okay. for the but program no, 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 than the, the uh, small countries. Right. Yes. And if I the big countries are included, board. that means more right. money for the project. Da, 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 da. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who is opening it? He. He is. Okay, this is In your journalist. This is not only the countries, it is the Czech as well. <laughs> 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 so these are in. Bosnia, good. Whoa. Cyprus, uh, Estonia, good. Nice Spain, <gasps> Finland, France, yes. UK, we knew. three of the big ones. Mm -hmm. And these yeah. ones are out. Germany. Oh, that's one big one. Israel, Israel. Israel is oh. out. Oh. And Russia is out. Russia is out. Mm. So Germany is out. Scheiße. Scheiße. Since we are having trouble meeting all the expenses, for me it's, uh, it means that I, I, I can sleep better. Are you going to Bosnia? Yeah. Oh, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> all the budget and calculation. Okay. Take care, bye-bye. Beloved leaders. <laughs> and the director. Welcome to Norway. Everybody in Norway, you know, we seem to be crazy about the, 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 with the European Song Contest. Probably because we won last year, but uh, for also plus it's also good business. No doubt about that. Normally this is a strict you know, business hotel and conference hotel. T today it's everything. So it's more like, uh, you know, uh, it's a circus. <laughs> You can say the music is banal. It's not my favorite music. Really? No, it isn't. I'm educated in history of art and paintings and I feel a sort of energy from the universe. It's a voice speaking to me and I have to do it. I'm not crazy. <laughs> Ja, 
mingid muud programmi tänaseks teil ei ole. It was uh, so accidentally I I met uh, uh, the author of that song and, and he just asked if I could sing the song and so so it just came. Just we, we must win, you know. I was allowed to stay up and see the Eurovision Song Contest in 1971. I was hooked from the word go and I just had to follow it. Then of course you go on collecting the records and all that and about 10 years later I got in touch with other people who had the same crazy interest and from then on we just formed our own Eurovision fan club. This is uh, the Belgian entry and uh, I think it's probably the most traditional Eurovision Song Contest pop tune that we're going to have this year. It's not very high on my list. Miranda, one of my dancers, the other one. <laughs> Mum, he's going to be a winner. <laughs> Dad, say Hi. hello. What is important with the Eurosong is that it is a melting pot of cultures in Europe. It's nice to hear that there are Celtic languages still going on and we hear serbo croatic and uh, Spanish and I think there are 16 or 17 languages going on in this Eurosong. In this hotel, Greece is staying with Estonia, smaller countries stay in smaller hotels, usually. The hotel is uh, full booked and the rooms won't be ready before 2 o'clock. Bag. It's gone somewhere. Loft in Norway. Do you turn your lightning? Oh shit. Well, we didn't have electricity for the sewing machine, so I did it by hand. <laughs> You know the little sachets of milk, like the, uh, not coffee mate, but the, um, the long life ones and the little things that you get on aeroplanes. <laughs> yeah? Is it, it's not a milk strike really, is it? There is a milk strike! <laughs> I'm just a dancer. Just a dancer. I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> it looks great on you anyway. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, did you put it on? Just call me Spike. <laughs> That's more like it. We had uh, these guys dressed up like uh, platform guys with the helmets on. And then I had the idea that why don't we make the orchestra, 70 people all together, with the same thing. I don't think they're very happy about it because it's not very simple to play an instrument with that kind of thing on your head. Oh. <laughs> if you want, you can puke in this. <laughs> <laughs> now this is the dress I'm wearing on the night, the big night. It's, um, it was handmade, for sure, by Paco Rabanne. It's worth 5,000 pounds. Sure didn't like it, so I guess he's got it. G. Um, it's made of all little gold discs with links and it was about that long, now it's this long. I have very small wardrobe, you know. Mm-hmm. 
I think it's a very simple, sensitive black dress. Just simple. Because I'm a very simple woman and everything uh, what I have uh, to, to give the audience is a song, you know. All I wanted, all I dreamed of, everything a life can do. I don't give up without thinking, I've been near you. All the diamonds in the mountains, shining stars and silver moon. All the treasures in the oceans, I would give for you a little bit. What do I care for the stars above? <laughs> just now because <laughs> we haven't been on stage yet so it's the first time we're on stage with all the dancers and trying to combine everything now for the first time I need a camera he isn't here he's having his coffee break now I need a camera in the middle here that's it that's about it all the dancers will come to you and both sides of the camera the whole thing is about bringing culture on a very square oil platform where everybody's working with their own technical things and we try to bring culture into that and say is there room for us somehow to bring in some culture in this uh, environment all right we'll see you later thanks bye number two it's wonderful yeah. went up a place yeah. we'll get to number one eventually <laughs> probably next sunday after we win eurovision Jeste, ali mi, mi smo već jednu pobjedu izvojelovali, taj pobjeda što smo pošli na pred takvičeni postigli vrlo visok plasman. Scoreboard's going up again. Reset everything then. Onyx! We are rehearsing the virtual studio sequence. Because we are voting this year in a virtual set. It gives more vivid pictures to the sometimes boring voting sequence. It's the first time it's done live in, in that scale, anywhere. And there are a lot of things that can go wrong. A lot of things. Where are you from? We're from England. Yeah. We've come here high in team, especially to support you. Yeah. Yeah. We think you've got a good chance. We've Best we've tickets. had for a long time. Oh, we've all got tickets, unbelievably. Yeah. And we, yeah. we, we're going to give you the biggest cheer we can. Oh, yeah. Please. Yeah. It's taking a bit too long. Sounds okay? Okay. Please start. No, we're not quite happy with the position of our stand. We would like a location with, which was a little more central. We're sort of in a dead end here because everybody's entering through the, the other entrance for the auditorium. Yeah. Gina? Yeah. <laughs> Having a closed disaster. Well, I think they should wear them on weather for this round. The girls... Hang on. Oh, fine. Okay. Yeah, no, so, the girls, come in. Wear, wear, what you're, wear what you're comfortable wearing okay. for this rehearsal. No. Yeah. 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 Men poenget er det at de må ha utvidelse en helt ditt, som går til og med ditt. We have to uh, rebuild the blue box. <laughs> It'll take about two weeks. But... I don't think my life will change anything. <laughs> I don't hope so. And you know when I'm together with Morten Harket, he is the big star of us. I'm just a journalist, he is a, a big star, a singer, and he is the famous one. I hated the idea of doing it, <laughs> to begin with. Before I said yes, I thought, oh, will, will, will this damage me in some way? But uh, I don't think so. You know, from what I've felt myself, this is the last thing I want to do if I want to build a career, you know. I can hide all these thoughts in my mind Every moment I'm just thinking of you Baby, please, you're all I need. 
look at it, but not like a child, but it's more than a face. Hi, Karen. You are. Hi, Karen. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. Very well, thank you. <laughs> okay, ready? Morten, shall we do it? Yeah, let's do it. Buenas tardes, Espana. Calispera, Eleni. Buenas noches, Portugal. Bla, bla, Estland. Good night, Netherlands. Bonsoir, Swiss. Dobre vecchi, Slovenia. Bonsoir, Belgique. Good evening, Ireland. Morten has causes, among them the plight of the people of East Timor. And the thought has crossed our mind that in the middle of it he suddenly stops and, 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 and leaves script and starts talking about the plight of the people of, the, of East Timor. Morten, I don't think I need you anymore because I'm off to the blue room no. and you go to the... The ladies' room? No, Morten, we have talked about this. You go to the... The green room. <laughs> Well, it, it might Almost work in here, today. with no audience. Yeah, but he doesn't kill it yet. So I kill uh, it on the 17th of May, after the dress rehearsal. It'll be too late then, because it'll be engraved in my yeah. brain. No. <laughs> Det er at i midten så hører hun ingenting, vet du. Men, og det er jævlig bra lyd i den, men den er omtrent stum. The backing singer, the girl, uh, she'll need compression, and probably Gina. Gina, so we can see, can you do the choreography? So we can see on the monitor, to see what works, so do... But girlfriend, girlfriend, this is competition, you're gonna be doing it in the competition or not, let me know. Okay. I mean, you know, I have to see it, child. Uh, thank God we got a week. <laughs> oh, nearly a week. Some problems, but uh, minor. Well, not only minor, because Gina G, we have to rehearse due to the sound monitoring. It was a disaster, really. We prefer to play live. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what music is about, but, but I understand some other countries that there, there were technical difficulties. It's the kind of our song that allows us to play it live. Some other songs need a playback. I don't blame them. The fans are uh, important for the Eurovision Song Contest because they are very enthusiastic. But the, uh, the they are accredited as press, but they really don't work as journalists and photographers, maybe some of them. I don't have uh, much journalistic talent, so I hope I will be a singer. <laughs> don't say a word, just hold me now, and I will know that we're apart. We'll always be together. Na 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 na. And I don't remember the rest. <laughs> <laughs> I started singing because of Eurozone. <laughs> there was this awful entry from Yugoslavia in 91 and I said to myself, if she can sing, I can sing. We were just inside for five minutes and we saw the English... Uh, I think it was great. One of the favorites. The only thing I remember is, ooh, ah, just a little bit. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> If Una will pay for us to have boob jobs um, before Saturday, then yeah. <laughs> We're going to spend a lot of time you and you're not going to feel well the, anyway. Um, they're disgusting anyway. I just think they're horrible anyway. I really do. It's I least two sizes too big. They're different. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Could do a because job. when you make a seam here, it's fetch. Yes, but they should put so some have binding balls. or something to... What do you really think? They do look kind of strange. They do. Thank you. <laughs> I think they're crap. Mitte nüüd, mitte nüüd, soovis, soovis, metsikult pugeda su eest. Aga ma olen ütlema, et see, see ei ole halvi pioon. See, see on, ja, 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 mina oleks tahtnud, mina oleks tahtnud, et minu minsakaks on üles kaks senti pikke, aga see on parem.
we've got the voting ready here so people can actually leave a little note here with today's favorite and every day we're going to sort of find out what people think has the biggest chance out of the rehearsals of every day. We're going to wait until after Sweden so that people hear the last song today and then we're going to count the votes and we'll put the result up there. Forget it, please. <laughs> I think it's, it's sweet, nice, beautiful music. It's very inspiring to work with. Ja kahe A vahel vaka Liisi sere tee pausi, nii ka enne kuskid see A, A. Lõpus, jah, mõnne. Kuule selle, selle kõige lõppu värveks, vaatame siis otsa ja ma lõpetan sinu järgi ära. Let it swing and let it rock and roll. Let it swing and let the music take control. Uh -huh. I've been in a Eurovision Song Festival finals. This is my fourth. Once number eight, and the second time we won with the Lade Swing here, Bob Sox. Let it swing and let it rock and swing and let it roll. Swing and let it rock and roll. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come fly right in there. We're marking the position of the virtual objects on the floor so that Ingvill will be able to walk around those virtual objects. The idea is to put the blue tape underneath the plexiglass so that the camera won't see it, but Ingvill will be able to see it through the plexiglass. And uh, we're going to experiment tonight to see if we have to paint some of the tape. Where does the fiddle start? Uh, in springtime will grow. Now this is not my score, but maybe my score is out there. It doesn't matter anyway. So the orchestra don't come in until I am the voice in the theatre when the summer is gone. Yeah. Uh, the score is gone too. I. I have a spare anyway. I, I have a spare here. No, no, no. There'll be no problem. Okay. <laughs> I'm not very good, but it plays itself. Okay. <laughs> good afternoon. Good afternoon. I used to be a musician, you know, years ago. What did it play? I made a brave attempt at the piano. Okay, Kielhan, that's better. That's wonderful. Thank you. In the Eurovision Song Contest, you've already always had trends, you know. And ABBA, for instance, started one trend, and there was a very sort of French-dominated trend at the beginning of the 60s when French 
songs kept kept on winning almost every year. So maybe now there's a trend for ethnic songs. <laughs> where the bazooki comes in. There should be a little bit more bazooki there. Yep. There was a little, and may, maybe a slight little bit less reverb on the fiddle. Okay. Just, and a little more on Emer's voice in this part Just here. Just the opening, yeah. not then through. Yeah. Okay, ready again? Yeah. Fine. You know, it's about time, because it's, it's so, out of date these songs honestly they're at least our songs 1996 commercial well they all sound like something in the 1970s yeah and it's very folk folk music like the Irish entry is so folk music it's like something you'd hear you know um, a long time ago it's a beautiful song I must admit but it's you know we're just a bit sick of Irish ballads I think I think the contrast is too much. Too much. When the, when the yeah, film sings, yes. no? it's just, no? it no, hits you. No, it needs a, no, that's where the song is changing. Yeah. No, yeah. it needs a lift, it yeah. needs that lift Those there. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, it, oh, I think it's too loud. Well, what you have is Emer singing the high note and then the fiddle comes I know. in. Because yeah. the whole song is changing there. It's gone yeah, out of this yeah. sort of yeah. low yeah, right. and it's coming. Sorry, I'm going to say another word. Otherwise, I'm happy with the band. Yeah, oh, the yeah. band is fine. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Thanks for... Thank you. We'll see you Thursday. Warner Records aren't pressuring me to win this, you know. We've just got some, um, you know, some fantastic exposure through it. Uh, not always the best song wins, unfortunately, but um, we are the favourite, <laughs> one of the favourites anyway. And the song was a hit before the competition. Looks like it's going to go to number one this week. <laughs> I have to go in and take a picture of Bosnia and I'll be back in two minutes, okay? Do you want a mic stand? No, uh, I, I prefer in the hand. Again, some difficulties now because we are five minutes behind schedule.
Heb je die raad altijd onder controle? Emer. Emma. Emer. 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 It is a great honor and pleasure on behalf of the Norwegian government to wish you all welcome to this reception four days before the great Eurosong contest in Oslo Spectrum. There is a considerable interest in this country on the top of Europe for the Eurosong contest. It is a transmission of such a size and complexity that it gives our national broadcasting company a possibility to try out new technology, to try out new ways of making television. From Oslo Spectrum, we will find Dognil Fjortov Seltur. Sometimes she walks behind the scoreboard, sometimes in front. Engel has an invisible road she must follow because if she don't, she, she might walk right through the scoreboards. Looks silly. She walks right through the scoreboards. But this is not good enough. But this time it should be better. Wouldn't it be better than to build? Scoreboard here? <laughs> yes, if that was possible, to build a scoreboard or a pencil, just write Turkey one point, okay, Turkey <laughs> one point. That would be much easier. <laughs> no virtual reality is real. Et annet problem som vi har, det er egentlig ikke noe vi kan løse her, men det er bare så det vet om det, altså Hellas er særdeles misfornøyde. Og de er primært misfornøyde med at de har fått tildelt den scenen som er lengst fra orkestret. Emis forame to himona, anixia dika, anixia dika. Emis forame, emis forame to himona. Okay, a little more. Listen. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one. When you start creating pictures, you always start with the dark pictures and uh, spotting up the stage to, to make uh, a good atmosphere in, in the picture. And then it turns out that, that there are 23 dark songs, which we can't have. Cellos, violas, everything is lost. I can't hear anything. But uh, I, 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 I don't know how am I going to get the sound that I want through this procedure. Yeah. We have to put but something down to get something. All the other things are very separate. Strings here, reeds there. How, how can you measure the, uh, the, the rising of the volume in, in, on, on a piece of paper? You can't. Can we see it again? Yes, yes of course. Okay. What the strings do is they, you get a nice sort of cushiony, warm feeling here and there, and then a bit of excitement later on. It adds something to it. It's not absolutely necessary, <laughs> is what I'm saying. <laughs> the track is very loud for us to listen okay. to, that, but we don't Ready? mind. You'll hear, it, you'll hear it go bang in a minute and we'll start, but we don't start right at the top, so it's all right. But it's more of a worry to them, but it's okay. It's okay. There, that. <laughs>
any justice <laughs> hey. yes yes number one <laughs> great this is it yeah there's a big buzz here in the uh, euro song land and it's um, it's like yeah we look like the winner well we look like the best record here and we've got the new list of favorites up it's sweden Number one, UK, Ireland, Croatia, and Poland. Those are the hottest favourites as of today. Do you the G's then, eh, boys? Yeah. Take all the pictures you want. She's going to be a star someday. <laughs> as we're getting into the week, we're sort of uh, winding up a little bit, I suppose, but not, not giving full performance yet, if you know what I mean. Just lifting everything up a, a, an inch or two. I find that your name here. You, you, you run? Yes, yeah. from Ireland. But I'm not in the band. These people are in the band. Yes, yes. You first. <laughs> no business like show business. You know, all the songs are prepared very well, but the opening and the closing, it's kind of a chaos. We have one percent who is used to reading off auto cue, being a newsreader, and when they do, when they do every other line, she reads off cue cards, and he knows it by heart, and it looks like he knows it. You know, has learned it, and she hasn't bothered to learn it. Well, she's using these tiny mics, and uh, when she moves, this sequence makes a sound. So uh, it would be a pity then if 300 million people didn't hear what she said only heard the sequence moving. So we have to fix them so that they won't move around this area. Mm. I think that's what we're going to do with it because it functions nice, it looks nice in camera as well. And she's, she's pleased with it. It hasn't been lengthened. Yes, it has. Has it? Yes. You've put a row on? Mm. Oh, when did you do that? <laughs> you did that without my permission. <laughs> mm. Mama sneak that one in there. <laughs> Um, just one row or two rows have been added? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, the red devil. I call this the red devil. Uh, well, first of all, this is, um, this is an outfit that I didn't design. Um, my ideas were totally different. But um, the presenter and and the, um, the direction of the show. They wanted a red jacket like this. In the beginning it was double-breasted with a large collar and then it became single-breasted with a smaller <coughs> collar. Now it is single-breasted but not breasted at all because it's not supposed to be buttoned. I don't think they actually 
quite knew what they wanted because it's been through so many changes and it shows the... It looks tired, the poor little thing. It looks like it's already already passed away and that's a pity because we are Thursday and the show is on Saturday. <laughs> I've heard some rumors. I even talked to the conductors that said it might be a problem if they didn't get their usual bow. And uh, I told them that uh, the reason why we did it was because we wanted to put in uh, the prime ministers and the presidents of each country, uh, creating the um, next singer. This is the uh, headgear for the dancer that's going to do the pas de deux. It was too orange, so we've changed, we've put on some red. Okay. I've asked for light for five days now. It was still dark in the rehearsal this time as well. So, so I said, can I please have some light now? We're accustomed to the stage now, I think. So it's just uh, fine tuning, you know, just making sure you get where you're supposed to get. But we haven't been here since Sunday. It's Thursday today. You know, everybody's sort of going through. Very carefully trying to figure out. Is this what I was doing last time? Half past nine. It's been a good day. We're like non entities, you know? And it's getting up noses of people, obviously. The conductor yes. is, is the head of, of the band. He mm. comes in the front of the band, makes a bow to the audience. That's well, not good enough um, reason for a shot in the program. But we are, we are here, and we are part of the team. This slows down the show. Huge bow towards okay. the audience. Well, yeah, but then turn around, tap, tap, tap. Yeah. To be frank, well, we think this is how it should be done. Mm. If not, we, we have to think of something. Which means? So, it's just the first press rehearsal. What I don't like is to be pressured to do it by the he hearing <coughs> talk about strikes and riots. <laughs> Good luck, people. Good luck. Thank you. Go Gina. Go Gina. Helmets for the orchestra, they're out. <laughs> <laughs> they're out. Who cares? 70 silver helmets, Just bin. We make things and we take it off. And we make new things. That's showbiz. So what's going to happen is when they show the pictures of the, the various prime ministers or head of state or something, applause, and floor manager and say to them, yeah. thank you and good night, two seconds.
you know the maps you did for the um, for uh, the presentation the maps of every country yes um, there might I think there are some slight problems with them okay you know that United Kingdom it's without Nor Northern Ireland you, you have lost Northern Ireland Okay, let's cross the border to Portugal, to uh, Lisbon, and say good evening to. Uh, let's see, let me see. Some small mistakes, but uh, hopefully nobody noticed. This is the big day. I was just dreading if the little Portuguese girl wins. I mean, this is going to drop through the stage floor and end up in China. Best of luck. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. So sweet. Please rise for more. Let's do it. <clears throat> and now we will see who will be the best in the Eurovision Song Contest. I've been doing it since since God was a boy. Uh, really, since since we saw off old Boney dispatched him to St. Helena for the final time. And uh, Wellington came to me and he said, Look, Tell, he said, I have an idea. Why don't we do a song contest that shows how united Europe is? And ever since then, it has showed very, very clearly how far apart we all are. <laughs> 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 well, the Spanish song is a very good one, but really it's not for the Eurovision Song Contest, it's too... I don't know if you saw the newspapers, the Norwegian orchestra director, you say, said he thought the Spanish song was the best one musically, but it was probably too difficult because it's quite complicated, the, the composition and he didn't think it sounded nice because of that. And also I not noticed that a lot of people don't think that Antonio can sing. No nervios. Dile que los nervios nosotros le hemos dejado en el hotel. En Madrid. Comiendo ser cagao. Comiendo ser cagao. Ja, 
Τι περιπτήση που θα βγει. Και εγώ τραβάμαι από το λίγο. Όλοι. Σωστό πρόβλημα. Να γίνει. Θα σου πάρω και θέτει και να τάσω να μην φαίνεται. Τι περιπτήση είναι αυτή. Ποιος είναι, ποιος είναι. Σας βλέπω, σας βλέπω. Έλα. Ναι, ναι, και σε περιμένουμε. Τους τρέχουν τα σάλια. Για το νεράκι εδώ πια είναι δικό μας. Έχω εγώ ένα It's, it's a very spectacular thing, nice dresses, nice women, very much glamour and glitter and, and uh, I think uh, that um, we need this thing a little bit. We wanted some darker um, windshields because some of the acts need windshields. So we had uh, this firm in England send us over some windshields. We couldn't get them out of customs because it was a holiday and they wanted invoices and all this stuff. So um, basically, to cut a long story short, we, we sent out, I went up there and, and, and said, um, look, do you want to see the director of Eurovision? Do you want to see the director of NRK? We need these windshields. Anyway, they came and they were massive. And uh, if you see a lot of the press photographs, actually they are on there. Uh, the mic, the windshield on one of the rehearsals, and it's got a massive Sony logo on it, <laughs> but it covers up most of the artist's face. <laughs> anyway. She speaks very, very good Norwegian. And obviously her English is, is good as she is the, uh, the yeah. correspondent in Washington. Uh, yeah. But she somehow lacks in, Fran in French. And um, we're just hoping that she won't have to enter any serious conversations with uh, the French-speaking uh, jury representatives. Because that could be a very, very strange conversation indeed. <laughs> Seriously. The problem is that uh, she has to wear three transmitters on her bum. And you know, on England's bum, that might be a bit too much. <laughs> so we have to find, uh, to, to loosen up the, uh, the jacket a bit uh, on the back. We are having some problems with that outfit, yes. And uh, we are working very hard on it. Um, it's... Um, it's a strange thing because um, they want to have, how to say that in English, um, credibility. And uh, uh, I don't think the credibility of a woman or a female presenter is in that part of her body. So I didn't understand why they were making such a big noise about that, but uh, this. We are working on it. Whether it's getting smaller or bigger, we'll have to wait and see, but we are working very hard on it, believe me. <laughs> there is um, it's a different world, it's a totally different thing to make costumes for presenters than to make costumes for dancers or actors. Uh, a dancer and an actor, they want a costume, they need a costume to realize their character. On stage, uh, making a design for a presenter is for a show like this is a totally different thing. Um, it's a strange mixture between the private person, uh, the public person. Uh, where does the private person stop, and where does the public person start? Uh, I always used to say that designing an outfit for a presenter for a show like this is. 10% design and 90% psychology. But I don't know why, but right now I feel like I'm the one that needs the psychologist, not the presenters, but... <laughs> I 
I was 16. It was a time of innocence in many ways. At that time, Norway was quite a con well conservative country, so a lot of people found it not very appropriate to sort of uh, sing uh, dressed in a kind of pajama. <laughs> I think the songs and the melodies were more focused than they are today. But uh, at the same time, I have a feeling that after the 80s, with a lot of glitter and a lot of show, we might be on the way back again to with a more emphasis on the songs. The more you see the, the British entry and the more you see the other entries, you think that we probably have a chance. Um, I mean, if they go for short skirts and, and a lot of wiggly bums, we got it. <laughs> and why not? I like this music. It's, um funny. Uh, most of the music are terrible, but uh, it's like to... I think the fans collect this music like they collect stamps. And, uh, In Norway, it is uh, usual to use the army in helping civilian population. In, uh, if you have storms and uh, floods and uh, so forth, so we try to support the civilian uh, community. So the Eurovision Song Contest is a crisis. No, it's not. It's a big organization, and uh, they need some help. They were for the uh, the military people. Because they're sleeping, we force them to sleep all day so that they can work all night. And so they require towels, and we said, okay. So I got them from the hotel. But they're doing a nice job, really. You know, when you work with television, you don't have to care about the tiny little details. So when they first started, they started to go like this. And I mean, when you shoot this, you're uh, 50 meters away. So it's just, come on, guys. You know. <laughs> Once, once you kind of get on and it's they're performing it, you don't even think about the problems, you know. If there are problems, you're just kind of buckle down and get on with it. It's a bit like parachuting. Once you jump out, you can't really start talking about it, you know. So uh, that was fine. It was grand. Felt pretty good, you know. Um, felt good as well doing the real thing, because when you've been rehearsing for days, you know, you really lose interest in it, you know. Kind of, so it's good doing the real thing. Yeah. So we're just happy to got on and done it and got off again without any hassle. Viva la France! Viva la France! It's good for me. Camembert! Camembert! This name is Camembert! So... The stage is too far away, the, the third one from the orchestra is really far away. We don't have the live feeling. You and know? it was not feels the like right stage for the choreography that we did. Feels like, feels like you're playing with playback, you know, with... Uh, wasn't the same feeling. And the lights, the lights, because the clothes are made for some special light, so... That was, that was one of the main problems, I think. And of course, being nervous, of course. It's huge. <laughs> Have you changed the clothes? No, we hope they change the lights. It's not very easy to change the clothes now.
because they're, it's a combination, you know, we have four people on stage. Okay, did you have problems today or something? No, no, oh I did, that's right, we had a problem with the mic level and then, um, I didn't see it. Yeah, we had a problem with the mic level and I skipped a beat at the beginning, so. No, I thought you had a, um, I don't think you sounded fantastic, but I thought I heard you had a sort of or something. No, they, they put that in the papers. Did they? Yeah. Sounds true. No. Someone told me that they heard that. No, I was going, oh no, I'm going. You got out there and, and knocked him No, they went. It came on. They had this picture in the newspaper and it has like Emer vocal trouble or something with the Oh, you are so good. I just really enjoyed it. I don't think I've ever had so much fun in my life. But honest to God, you just. It's just fabulous. Yeah. I have, it's by an Irish designer, Home Nerry Grant, and I have another dress. Is that buyer? I'm going to wear it to see if it goes on. A lot of people are nervous, and right now I feel they're all sitting on my shoulders. <laughs> so uh, starting to starting to wear a little. No, I'm okay actually, but I uh, I haven't had the chance to to take my own breath, you know. persons in the jury and uh, each one of them uh, are giving points from 1 to 10 and we just count, count them something together <laughs> I was just here by accident with my friend and someone didn't show up. That's why I'm here. I, I listen to the songs and vote from what, what I think about the songs. Mainly. Well, Bosnia here uh, won. One point <laughs> from me. So, sorry, Bosnia. Thank 
tremendous rubbish, isn't it? But it's uh, it's fun. I love it. I wouldn't do it if it wasn't fun. You know? I mean, it's it's the great coming together of of, of Europe, but it gives people in different countries a chance to hear other countries' music, and indeed, in the best xenophobic fashion, laugh at the foreigner. That's really what this is about. A good scoff at the foreigner. I think as well, the know. first day when we when we sat down, we listened to the songs. We we're like, oh, you know, useless, useless. And now we find know. ourselves no, no not no, necessarily no, no. useless, but we're like a lot of them. We you know we thought, you know, okay, fine, whatever. And now I certainly know Chloe has a stack of CDs <laughs> of a lot of the entrants in her hotel room. People who are accredited are taking especially CDs from the pigeonholes and not from their own, but from. Uh, others. So uh, that has been a problem for the last 10 years as far as I know. So we will try to set a stop for that. We are going to try to catch one of the stealers, to say it bluntly, in a, in a soft but firm way. Hi. Uh, we're just uh, taking care of so we don't have so many uh, drunk people and uh, people that are using drugs. Keep them away from the area. So you and tell, tell, tell me where you were yesterday? We were just inside for five minutes and we saw the English uh, singing. And we think it was great. You, could, you remember the song after you had heard it once then? We liked it. We were singing that song the whole day yesterday. song last year um, and it took me about a month to persuade him to uh, deliver it for the uh, for the Eurovision um, and um, when he finally did it we realized that it needed some words <laughs> because it was without words and after all it's a song contest so and old David phoned me while I was on holiday and I'd promised my wife not to work on the on the holiday because I work all the time and I got up very, very early, about 6.30, and I knew that she'd be getting up about 9.30. I knew I had two hours. I had to think of something. And uh, I thought, well, it's a beautiful song. Beautiful, a beautiful song. And it has this nocturnal feel. It's night. So I wrote 13 words, which were basically that now day turns to night. And then I let the fiddle sort of be night. And then towards the end of the song, I wrote, 12 words that now night becomes day. Brilliant. Everything was waxed. We're all very happy, you know. As you can see. Oh, it was wonderful in, in, in the auditorium. Yeah, great. How do you like Dublin Guinness? <laughs> Next year. How much of this is going out? She's working here today, but I can't, unfortunately, I can't tell you where she's at the moment. She's somewhere around in the open air museum. We haven't got one location, so I hope you'll find her. No, I'm not sure uh, where she is. Maybe inside uh, the house right there, maybe. She is working in the. Uh, she's she's working here today, but I don't know where she is exactly right now. Uh, she came by here about 20 minutes ago, but I don't know where she is now. Which direction? Which direction? 
And she went to send us all messages over the top there and then to the left. Hello, are you Gunhild Finraum? Yes, that's right. I'm Gunhild. And last year you won the Eurovision Song Contest? Yes, I was a member of the group Secret Garden that won the contest. Has it changed your life? No, <laughs> it hasn't, but it was um, an experience of great value. I think actually she would have preferred not to win, yes. Oh, yeah. It's your mum. Tell her, tell her you can't Hello. meet you. Sorry. <laughs> Hi. So, please don't win. Okay, I'll promise. I'll be number two. <laughs> okay, good. That was from NRK, good you luck. know, they have no economy. Why, why shouldn't she win? We don't want to do this again. Take a look at the ranking, it's all over now, but let's see that. Estonia is in fifth position, Croatia in fourth, Sweden in the third, Norway second, and Ireland is the winner. Ireland! Not again. I want to go somewhere else. I can't. 